Okay, ever since Bamboo Labs said they had a new uh, print plate that would work, would stick better, work at lower temperatures and all that, I've been trying to get one. I didn't have any luck. They were always uh, out of stock and still are. So when this uh, Cryo Grip version one came up, I decided I'd go ahead and, that would fit the A1 Mini, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. And they have a uh, two different ones. They have the Frostbite and the Glacier. Now the Frostbite is supposed to have the best grip if all you're printing is uh, PLA and PETG, but it has the roughest texture surface. And as I've said in other videos, I've just got no use for any plate that has a texture to it. Uh, my mechanical parts need smooth. My cosmetic parts need smooth. I just got no use for a, a textured surface. Can you get this cat? It's uh, in my wire. And um, so I went with their Glacier one, which uh, also, well, back on the Frostbite. The Frostbite's only good for the PLA and PEG. The Glacier is supposed to be good for basically all types of things. Doesn't quite have as good an adhesion, they're saying, but it has the smoother texture. Now it's still textured. So I said, okay, well, I can, I can use it for some things like spacers and adapters and stuff like that. So this is plate has got 120 parts on it and as you know if you do a plate that's got multiple parts if even one part fails then the uh, entire plate can get ruined because it drags that broken part around and the spaghetti piles up and it keeps spitting filament out where the part doesn't exist and drags it onto the next part and blah blah on and on so I thought it'd be a good test for this plate and this just finished this was about a, a three hour print and uh, as you can see there they're still stuck on there. The plate is still slightly warm and not hard at all to get off. Here's the end texture of it. Yeah, not bad at all. Come off pretty easy. So it's double sided. The only first thing that I noticed that this cutout, here's the uh, Bamboo Labs. Uh, smooth PEI plate that I normally use. The cutout seems to be it's just slightly, it's like like a tenth of a millimeter or something tight here and here. So when you go to fit it on the, the machine you don't feel that positive feeling that you've got it lined up. You gotta fish around it. It'd be easy to get it on there crooked. Whereas the uh, the original plate, you just go back and you go, yep, there it is, and it's going to be lined up every time. So it's uh, just slightly off here and here. I guess a guy could take a file and file that edge and file this edge just a smidge, and then it would work right every time instead of having to fish around because it, it has slop. Of course, the magnet's going to hold it whichever way it's on there, but if you need the plate on there square, then you may need to make that slight adjustment. But other than that, the plate seems to work well. It, uh, the price was okay, and uh, it can be good for things that you can have a even a slight textured finish on the backside. Now the plate's cooling off, you can see some of them are starting to uh, to drop off, but uh, none of them dropped off on their own during the print, so it was a hundred percent success. I guess I recommend the uh, Cryo Grip. And if you're only printing PLA, then I would recommend the Frostbite. But if you're printing all different types of filaments and you want a very minimal amount of texture on the uh, bedside of the part, then I would say go with the, uh, with the Glacier. And if you need the spec sheet there, there you can see that there's a little reflection going on. And um, I think I found them on Amazon. If I... Uh, See the link for it, I'll uh, put it in the comments down below.